boys and girls. Welcome to Manhattan Beach's Comic Bug. Uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit about free comic book day today, which is going to be May 3rd from uh, noon to 3 at this particular juncture. Free comic book day we have found to be a fantastic promotional tool for our store. Um, it's a national event, which is great. Helps us get a lot of press that we might have a hard time getting otherwise. It's usually hinged on uh, the back of a, a, a huge you know, theatrical release that's related to comic books. It's been really good for us. We've made a lot of new customers, a lot of new friends over the years, uh, promoting the fact that we are here on Manhattan Beach Boulevard and uh, that we sell comics. And on that one very special day of the year, we give away comics. No, the, all the comics are not free, unfortunately. But um, the ones that are free are are they're not the kind of they're not just the overstock that Marvel couldn't sell that year. They're they're especially created to um, really show you the, the potential of the comic book. Um, like I would gladly give you a book out of my bargain bin if I thought it would make you excited about reading a comic book, but that's not going to do it. You, we need these new, fresh comics. DC is. Um, reprinting the all-star Superman right back here. Frank Quietly, I think that's how you say it, and Grant Morrison. Fantastic book, really interesting new take on Superman that, that, that also brings back a lot of the fun that, that people remember from, from single issue stories. Greg Land's like one of the premier artists in the comics industry and hard you'll be hard pressed to get him to draw a single comic nowadays but he drew this issue of X-Men. An, a, an issue of X-Men that has a beginning, middle, and end. This is a rarity in, in X-Men nowadays. Not all comics are free, but the ones that are free should, should be more than enough to satisfy. If you're curious about comic books, haven't bought a comic ever or in many years, first thing I always ask them is, you know, what's your favorite book or movie? And if it's something I'm familiar with, I try to associate that with a comic book that would, that, that would fit in that sort of genre or that sort of vibe. If they're a Quentin Tarantino fan, I always recommend Preacher. If, if they like romantic comedies, you have Scott Pilgrim or you have Blankets, which is a great romance uh, story. Now, with the free comics, you know, obviously we're limited to what the free comics are that day. But we have, you know, things like Maintenance, which, you know, we're going to have Robbie Rodriguez here. Yeah. It's, it's a great, co if you like Jack Black, you know, sort of Will Ferrell silly comedies, this is a great sort of uh, correlation there. He also does the Tech Jansen book. So keep an eye out for that. Not every comic book is a superhero. In fact, yeah, especially nowadays. Oh yeah, you know I love this one. You, this one just came flying at me from from the tombs of, of the crypt. Uh, <laughs> EC Comics. These are actually reprints of of fifties. Uh, those old fifties comics that everybody heard about that were banned, and you know kids were reading them and cracking each other over the skulls with you know, with whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean there's a there's all sorts of stuff. Sonic the Hedgehog, like. That game has been dead for how many years? And there's still the comic. There's still kids coming in looking for the comic book. It's amazing. Uh, the Simpsons. It, we're gonna have uh, Phil Ortiz, the artist of the Simpsons comic, is gonna be here signing. Um, and then also a lot of the sort of more offbeat ideas you see on the silver screen, like Hellboy. Uh, did you know that was a comic book first? Of course you did, because it's awesome. Um, Gumby. The 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 uh, Gumby staff is gonna be on hand here signing. Um, yeah, so basically, as soon as I know who you are, what you like, I guarantee I can find you a comic that you will love. That is my solemn promise to you, and that is all I ask. That's all I want you to know. Come in. My name's Mike. Come talk to me. I will find you something that will make you happy. Right, Talron? Yeah.